Hey YouTube, um, what I'm going to show you here is the uh, Z-axis from DJI. This is the uh, latest thing um, that they got because when you're using your Osmo, a lot of times you get this up and down movement and it's really distracting in your video because you got your, your left to right, your up and down and your twist, but your movement like this when you're walking can be really annoying. Um, so what they did is they invented this, the Z-axis, which is a, a really cool device. Let me show you how this looks. Uh, Inside the box, we've got another box with these foams, some uh, decadent. Don't eat this, by the way. I'm not sure exactly who does that, but there it is. The Z axis uh, comes with a couple little caps. You want to remove those before you uh, attach your, your onto your Osmo, and it hooks up the same way as your camera on your Osmo. You do this to unlock it, and then you line up your new a z-axis the same way yeah find a little line there and lock it in place just like that and also your camera goes on the same way all right if I can find a line it's here somewhere it's here somewhere all right locked Unlock, unlock, unlock. All right. Now I got to remove this piece. And an extra piece of security. That part swings down and locks in. You can now attach your phone holder to any one of these other ports on the end. It meshes up nicely. Good job, DJI. So, we now have our unlocked Osmo. Let's take it outside, check it out. Okay, here we are outside, checking things out with our DJI Osmo. Seeing what the Osmo can see. What's pretty amazing to see is as we're walking around, uh, the Z axis does bounce around a good bit, but yet in post production, the uh, image silky smooth what kind of sorcery is this I'm gonna walk around a little bit outside see what there is to see I'm not sure if you've seen some of my other videos or not hopefully you have but I've also done the same walk with the DJI Osmo without the z-axis I wonder what kind of comparison we have with this but it's the same area a little bit different time of the season uh, last time I was doing the same walk with the Osmo there was a bit of snow on the ground and even a, a big winter uh, storm coming not gonna quite have that today as you can see we're now in the springtime it's green it's hot enough it feels like it is <laughs> summer DJI advises against using the z-axis for like uh, rigorous uh, movements like action sports and stuff we're gonna take this Osmo and Z-axis out in the woods here but not only walk we're gonna try to run and see if the Osmo Z-axis can actually keep up with me running through the woods seems like it's doing pretty good so far probably better than I am because I'm old and the Osmo and Stott but how do things look? Bouncing around in the woods with the Z-axis. All right. Not as young as I used to be. Oh. I also wonder, if I'm using the Z-axis, can I do the internet famous selfie mode? Let's try it. Well, yes, indeed. It still does selfie mode. It still turns around in videos. Wondering what it looks like, though. I guess we'll have to see later on. <laughs> How does the selfie mode look with the Z-axis? I mean, as I'm walking around, I can see the Z-axis and the Osmo camera bouncing around. <sighs> I guess I'll have to check it out later on to see <laughs> how bouncy it is in actual video. 
Well, I got a lot of things to look at, a lot more things to try, some things to play with. Hopefully we've learned a little something about DJI's Z-axis. Hopefully you see my other videos. Hopefully I have a lot more stuff for you to see in the near future. All right, this is me signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, here we are outside, checking things out with our DJI Osmo, seeing what the Osmo can see. What's pretty amazing to see is as we're walking around, uh, the Z-axis does bounce around a good bit, but yet in post-production, the uh, image is silky smooth. What kind of sorcery is this? I'm gonna walk around a little bit outside, see what there is to see. I'm not sure if you've seen some of my other videos or not. Hopefully you have. But I've also done the same walk with the DJI Osmo without the Z-axis. I wonder what kind of comparison we have with this. Well, it's the same area. A little bit different time of the season. Uh, last time I was doing the same walk with the Osmo, there was a bit of snow on the ground. And even a, a big winter uh, storm coming. Not going to quite have that today. As you can see, we're now in the springtime. It's green. It's hot enough it feels like it is <laughs> summer. DJI advises against using the Z-axis for like uh, rigorous uh, movements like action sports and stuff. We're gonna take this Osmo and Z-axis out in the woods here, but not only walk, we're gonna try to run and see if the Osmo Z-axis can actually keep up with me running through the woods. Seems like it's doing pretty good so far. Probably better than I am, because I'm old and the Oslo and stopped. But how do things look? Bouncing around in the woods with the Z-axis. All right. Not as young as I used to be. Oh. I also wonder Fun using the Z-axis. Can I do the internet famous selfie mode? Let's try it. Well, yes indeed. It still does selfie mode. Still turns around in videos. Wondering what it looks like though. I guess we'll have to see later on. <laughs> How does the selfie mode look with the Z-axis? I mean, as I'm walking around, I can see the Z-axis and the Osmo camera bouncing around. <sighs> I guess I'll have to check it out later on to see <laughs> how bouncy it is in actual video. Well, I got a lot of things to look at, a lot more things to try, some things to play with. Hopefully we've learned a little something about DJI's Z-axis. Hopefully you see my other videos. Hopefully I have a lot more stuff for you to see in the near future. All right, this is me signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day.